week, Zahira met up with TV and film personalities from South Africa. Here's the continuation of her interviews this week. This morning we're at Fairmont the Palm and we're chatting to three of South Africa's top TV personalities, Leanne Williams, Kajal Bhagwandin and Lala Hirayama. They'll be talking to us about their health and fitness routines and how they keep fit in their challenging jobs. Welcome to Dubai, we're so happy to have you here. We're chatting about your health and fitness routines. Now in your jobs on television, that's got to be something that you've got to fit in, but also you're short on time. How do you manage it? Well, I've got to say eating obviously is the most important thing because abs are made in the kitchen. So I'm always making sure that I'm eating healthy, making the right choices and drinking lots and lots of water. And then trying to work out three to four times a week. Well, I have to agree with Lala. Um, it's important what you put into your body. 80% um, of what you look like is because of what you eat. So I'm pretty much on a low carb diet, not only because of the way it makes me look, but because of the way it makes me feel and what it does for my health. So training wise, I do functional training and yoga, and that pretty much works for me three or four times a week. Well, you know what they say, um, failing to plan is planning to fail. So when you work 16 hour days, um, and you're up at 3.30 in the morning and you get home at 7 o'clock at night for the first time, you have to make sure that you prepare your meals the night before and that's what I do. Make sure that breakfast is packed, snacks are packed, lunch and dinners are packed and um, that way you cut out cheating and you cut out you know, the need to snack on things that are naughty and that's the most important thing and of course when it comes to fitness, functional, functional, functional. I love cardio and strength, throwing it in there and it's got to be fun. Training has got to be fun and of course uh, the dirtier you train, the easier it is, you know? Favorite and least favorite workout? Oh, my favorite must be yoga. My least favorite must be swimming, but you gotta do it. <laughs> okay, favorite, um, yoga, and I love functional training. I really dislike running on the treadmill, so I'd rather run on the beach. Favorite for me has to be boxing. Love boxing with a little bit of kickboxing thrown in there. Least favorite, burpees. Ugh, I hate them. I get punished with burpees, by the way. <laughs> when you're relaxing, what will I find you doing? Well, you'd probably find me reading or baking. It's one of my favorite ways to relax. I think relaxing for me is at home. My home's my sanctuary. So I'm usually in my PJs or tracks at home. And cooking, actually, I love cooking. It relaxes me. For me, relaxing means doing as little as possible to get by, so I'll usually be vegetating on a couch. Advice for people that are trying to fix their diet and get back on a healthy track, because the start's always the hardest, what would you say? Fix your mind first. I think that is the first rule. If you want to lose weight, it starts with the mind. You've got to be in the right mindset and uh, learn as much as you can about you know, health and fitness and make the right choices. But yeah, once you've made that decision in your mind, then you can do it. I think research and see what works for you because we're all different and I do, do believe that if you feel good, you look good at the end of the day. So if whatever you put into your body uh, makes you feel healthy and look healthy, and then hey, you're winning. One thing that I had to remind myself of was that Rome wasn't built in a day. I didn't gain the weight in a week, so I'm not going to lose the weight in a week. If you make it a lifestyle and something that is fun and something that is about you, it's easier to do. So um, don't compete with anybody else. Be who you are, embrace your individuality, and uh, before you know it, I think you'll have the body of your dreams. You don't have to be super skinny, just you know, be comfortable in your own skin. You have very aspirational careers. What is the one message that you'd give to people that would like to get into the same industry as you are, or are in it and maybe not as successful? Well, I think persistence is key. Um, always staying positive, even when all the doors are being slammed in your face. We've all got to go through it. Work on your craft. It's, uh, it's what's going to get you to the end goal. Maintain your individuality. You know, in an in a industry like this, you always compare yourself to others. 
just find whatever your little X factor is and work on it and be, you know, a sponge and just absorb everything around you and learn from others in the industry. And that's the way you'll grow and make it. I believe that um, you always have to have a backup. So educate yourself, continue to upgrade yourself, learn as much as you can, um, take in as much as you can, and who knows, eventually you could find yourself doing exactly what you've always dreamt of doing. Girls, thank you so much for chatting to us. Physique TV, be your best.